We are at a small rural school network in the northwest of Spain, Gran Vocation Vedra. This special kind of school serves little villages with a small population. The school is composed of seven classrooms, located in six different villages. Each classroom has kids from three to seven years. There is one class teacher per classroom, who stays with a group of children most of the time. And there are different specialists, English teacher, physical ed teacher, speech language and hearing and such, as well as other support teachers. There is one quite limited DSL line per school, an interactive board and a few computers in each classroom. Jolie is an English teacher working at this school. Every morning she takes her car, goes to one of the classrooms and teaches English to one group of kids. Then she takes the car and goes to a different classroom for the next lesson and so on. This happens with all specialists in the school. They are all in the move every day. This group of teachers meet once a week to debate their teaching activities, share materials, talk about school issues. But many times they find difficult to share everyday resources with their colleagues or communicate small issues. The same happens when it comes to class activities. Imagine Cruz, one of the teachers, has an interesting special activity like inviting Rosa, a mom who works as a baker, to show all the kids how to make bread in one of the classrooms. Only those kids who are in the same classroom where Cruz is can enjoy this activity. The only way to let every kid from the school participate would be hiring a bus and bringing all the kids to the classroom where Rosa will be. But that is quite a mess and it is expensive, so that happens just a few times in the year. So we thought at Galicia Supercomputing Center that there must be something that technology could do to help teachers and students from this kind of schools. We thought that cloud computing could help them have a virtual cloud where they could share the resources, communicate, work together, see each other, and learn wherever they are, whenever they want to. And that had to be really easy to do for them. They shouldn't deal with complicated systems, programs, and such. The only thing they should care for is providing the best learning experience for her kids. An internet browser should be enough. And of course, this system should be lightweight, so they could work from their slow internet connections. So we installed a cloud operative system based on open source software iOS and adapted it to suit their needs. We created our common little cloud. We call it Nube in Spain. Now Cruz can log on to her account easily, upload a teaching lesson she just made, share it with the rest of the teachers, download some resource from Antonio and all other teachers, leave a message to all of them with a proposal to organize their carnival from her classroom, from her home. It is also possible for her to use many apps in her cloud environment to create learning resources like word processors, image editors, presentation apps, etc. They can even see each other through a simple multi-conferencing tool. Now, each class can connect to each other to share activities, sing together or celebrate birthdays as if they were one big class, without the bus, without the mess. And there's more to come. Now we are working on the kids' cloud so they will be able to access learning resources, communicate with their peers and their teachers, and learn and have fun together. Soon, very soon.